Welcome back intellectuals. In today's tutorial, we are going to handle a question in probability and that is how to draw a tree diagram. We have picked a question in 2017 paper 2, that is question number 2, under uh, probability. If you are new to this channel, make sure you consider subscribing. So let's jump in into our tutorial. So our question today reads a box of chalk contains five white, four blue, and three yellow pieces of chalk. A piece of chalk is selected at random from the box and not replaced. This is the part which is very much important. So it was selected from the box, but it is not replaced. So this is a formula that will help you. This is a general formula for probability. So make sure you remember it. Probability is equal to favorable outcomes divided by total possible outcomes. So when we say favorable outcomes, I simply mean what are the chances for that particular event to happen? Then the total possible outcomes simply means how many events are in that particular draw. We are saying a second piece of chalk is then selected. After the first piece of chalk was selected, it was not replaced. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here, question number one, we are supposed to draw the tree diagram. The question is saying draw the tree diagram. That will show the all the possible outcomes. Now, because we have three events, this simply means our tree is going to have how many branches? It is going to have three branches. Correct. So, let us begin to draw. So, our first branch, that is the branch there. Our second branch, that is the branch there. Our third branch, like that. So, we have all the three events here. That is my white, the blue, and the yellow on the last branch. Okay, let us proceed. So, this is representing the first draw. Our first draw. So, in the second draw, on each branch, we are still going to have three branches. So, let us proceed there. Okay, so we're going to have that branch like that again on the second branch we're going to have three branches like that the last one the same thing we are done with a tree now what we are remaining with are the possible outcomes our first branch is representing the white our second branch blue third yellow so on the first branch here, we are going to use capital letter W. So we have a W there representing our outcome there. So W, then our second, a capital letter B representing blue, then yellow for the last one. Then we do the same. The branches we have, we have drawn on each branch, we are going to represent them the same way. So the first branch, you remember, for W, B, then Y. The same thing will follow that suit. So W, B, and the Y. On the second branch, here we have B. So on the first branch here, we're still going to have the B. Then W, then yellow. The last branch there, we're going to have yellow, W, then blue. It means we are set. Now, what we are remaining with are the values now. So this is the part where you're supposed to listen very carefully. So what will help us now will be the formula there. This formula is the one that will help us to fill in the uh, on the branches. We need to find the probability of each individual event. So we'll go with the first one. So the probability here, what are the chances of you picking a white chalk? How many chances are there? 
we have five chances. That is the favorable outcome. Then what are the total possible outcomes? What are the events in this particular draw? So you add 5 plus 4 plus 3. Where you are going to get a what? Correct. A 12. So our probability of getting a white will be 5 over 12. Good. Then the probability of picking a blue? 4 over 12. Yellow? Good. 3 over 12. So these are our probabilities right here. They will help us now to fill in, in the branches. So let us go back to the branches. So on this branch, I'll start with the first one. Here on this branch, we have a probability of picking in a white piece of chalk. And remember, it is the first draw. This is a time where you have not taken anything out. So all the possible, all the chances are still the same. They are still going up to 12. So here we're going to write 5 over 12. So on this branch here, since it is for white, it simply means I'm picking only the white piece of chalk. That information is very important. On the first branch here, there is white. So I'm only picking a white piece of chalk. Now, since I did not replace it, do you expect the favorable outcomes to be the same? No. So if we had five chances, we have taken one and we didn't replace it. It means they have reduced from five to four. Good. Then what about the total number of outcomes? <coughs> it means even the total number of outcomes will also reduce from 12 to 11. So here on, this, on the branch which is proceeding this side, we'll have four over 11. Now, on the branch of uh, blue here, because the blue has not been touched on the first branch, so the chances will still remain as four, but what will change is the events that are there. Because you did not replace one event, so it has to reduce again. So four over 11. Then yellow is still remaining three. What is changing only is it? the possible outcomes again. So 3 over 11. Good, like that. Then we come to the second branch. On the second branch, we have 4 over 12. So here, we are still in the first draw. If I come to the second branch. In the first draw, here we are picking now, on this second branch, we are picking a blue piece of chalk. So since it is a blue piece of chalk, on the first draw, it will still remain the same. The chances will still be 4 over 12. But now, on the second draw, because you didn't replace it, so the chances have reduced from 4 to 3. And the total number of outcomes to 11. Good. So we have a 3 over 11. For the white piece of chalk here, it will remain the same. Remember, on this branch, you are not picking the white. You are picking a what? A blue. So the white will still remain with the five chances. But what will reduce is the total number of outcomes. So five over 11. Good. Then the last one we are having is three over 11. Then the last branch. In the first draw, you are picking a yellow piece of chalk. So here, well, we'll get just direct to this one. It will not change. It will be three over 12. But now, going to the second draw, since you picked a yellow piece of chalk, so yellow, in the first it was the same, but since you didn't replace, it will reduce from 3 to 2. So 2 over 11. Then the white still maintains 5, but now over 11. Then the blue, 4 over 11. Like this, we are done fusing in information there. Okay, so what are we remaining with? Now, what is remaining there now is uh, to show, because they're saying we need to show all the possible outcomes. So on each branch, I'll extend the line. Okay, on each branch, you extend the line like that. Okay, so at the end, we are going to write uh, the possible outcomes. So on this branch, 
we are having w w that is the possible outcome here you can pick a white white that is a possible outcome so we have w w then the possible outcome on this other branch we have w b so w b here we have w y here we have b b okay so b b then there b w then e b y then we have y y we have y w we have y b okay so like this it means we are done you have gotten your two marks you have drawn the tree diagram and it is also showing all the possible outcomes so on this branch you can either pick a white a piece of chalk in the first draw and in the second draw you can also pick another white piece of chalk here on this you can pick a white in the first draw in the second you can pick a blue one that is how you understand that okay so we are set with that then uh, let us go now to question number two find the probability of selecting pieces of chalk of the same color find the, prob the probability of selecting pieces of chalk of the same what color so here we'll come back which ones have the same color same color you look for a possible outcome where you have the same letters so here you can see you have ww that is the same color white white then we have bb that is blue blue then we have yellow yellow that is yy so we are going to sum up these probabilities okay we're going to sum them up so that is very important when it comes to probability when you have all the possible outcomes it is easier for you to calculate anything if they say it different colors then we'll go for those with different colors okay so let us proceed okay so we have ww bb and we have yy just right here so these uh, colors we are going to th these probabilities we are going to sum them we're going to add them so we'll write them like this we have ww plus bb plus yy so ww it simply means multiply the probability of picking a white piece of chalk in the first draw times picking the probability in the second draw so in the first draw here where there is ww we have 5 over 12 multiplied by 4 over 11 that is how you handle that okay so you have something like this then plus bb here i'll go where there's bb so there's b there's b there so in the first draw i have 4 over 12 i'm multiplying it with a, a 3 over 11 so it will be like this then y y i have 3 over 12 multiplied by 2 over 11 so it will be like that so add then plus that okay so from there now since there is multiplication we cannot go straight into adding so you separate this you're going to multiply there then at the end now that's when we will begin to consider addition so if you multiply 5 times 4 what are you going to have good 20 then 12 times 11 you're going to have good 132 so our answer there we have 20 over 132 then 4 times 3 here we are going to have what good 12 then again 12 times 11 we're still going to have the same number in the denominator so plus uh, 12 divided by 132 then here on the last one 3 multiplied by 2 that is a 6 then divided by a 132 so from here we are going to find the common denominator so the common denominator for these numbers it will still be the same which is 132 so 132 into 132 1 1 times 20 we still have 20 the same here 1 times 12 that is so plus 12 then plus 6 then we'll add these what is 20 plus 12 
plus 6. Good. We are having 38. So 38 over 132. Now, here, if you are able to reduce it, you make sure you write it to its simplest form. So from here, we can use a 2. A 2 into uh, 38, we are having a 19. Then a 2 into 132, we are having, good, a 66. So our final answer in this case will be a 19 over 66. This is our answer here for the last question. So that is the probability of selecting pieces of chalk of the same color. It means you are done. Thank you very much for watching up to the end of this video. If you are new, please consider subscribing. See you next time.